hey guys welcome back in this video tutorial we are going to learn how we can send a push notification from google firebase to your react native application so let's get started with the example so in this example i'm going to show you at the last what we are going to achieve with this video so let's get started so first of all i'm going to set up my windows yeah i'm going to minimize this uh, application and this is my console firebase so from here i can send the notifications and i will get them in my uh, application so just start with that i'm going to send a duplicate message my text message is text message here and it's uh, the nickname is an optional thing and app the app name which is the clone dot try push so i'm going to click on send message then confirmation and within few moments you can see that here we got a push notification so you can see that here is my message so whenever i'm going to click on this notification my application will be open so for this push notification you don't need to always uh, uh, open your application if your application is minimized or your application is in closed then still this will going to work so here i'm going to click over here and you can see that our application is open here so let's get started this video with a step by step so first of all we have to open react native fcm this is a github repository of the react native official fcm from here uh, there is a few kind of steps which we need to follow here we have to change some core files of our react native uh, through the android so first of all we have to install this application with the npm installed react native fcm minus minus save so i'm going to cancel my running project and just put my command uh, in ca command prompt and it will take uh, just 10 to 15 seconds okay so let's go for the further process after that we have to use mm, we have to go on firebase console but uh, before that i am going to complete all the steps and after that we will go on the firebase and uh, here we will learn how we can create a new project and send the notifications so to avoid the fcm for now uh, here uh, this column is for android configurations and as per the instruction there is an uh, react native link command and if you are familiar with the uh, react native you should know about that and it is telling that sometimes this file will be uh, deletes but make sure you have uh, to edit the following line so we will uh, check the every lines and every changes uh, we are not going to touch on react native link so i think build is yeah build is ready for now and just use react native link The further changes, actually I already did these changes uh, because I just tried before uh, making this video but don't worry, still I will check all the files one by one and I will tell you all the further steps. That's fine, uh, react native links is run successfully. Now we have to add this line which is class paths in you can see that the file name is android.build.gradle file so open your project 
and you can see that there is some folder which is attached android ios just code the android and here you can see that build or gradle and here we have to put this link here so i already uh, added this link so i don't need to add it again after that i have to go on android application build or gradle so just go on the app level gradle and here we have to use the uh, we need to add a plugin for google gsm services on the very top so this is also done after that we have to go on android manifest.xml file and just go on the source folder then java com and push notification so here is the android.manifest so you have to add some code just before style dot slash add theme so because this is a service so we are going to use a service tag here the two service tags here just copy from here and paste here so you can see that very neat and clean code here we added already added these two files fine so now we have to go again the app and build or gradle file here we have to use the uh, project react, react native fcm and uh, compile the firebase which is with the version 10.0.1 that's fine uh, yes build or gradle and these are also done you can see that all right guys after that uh, go to the android setting or gradle this is the android or setting or gradle and we have to include the fcm with the project react native fcm which is uh, with the path directory here and um, after that you can leave this step because this is not necessary for now and now you have to go on main activity dot java so as you know main activity dot java always will be placed in uh, java folder so here you have to use uh, import the android dot content dot intent and use the override the functions which is mentioned here this is the uh, imported file and this is the override function after that just last step here with the main application dot java here you have to include the fir message package and uh, after that you have to use uh, the object of this file in the get package get package function so everything is done now and now we are going to okay so do one more thing with that so now we have to import the fcm and platform from the react native just copy them and go to your file and you can go to your app.js file import them actually i already import this file and i already import the uh, platform also so after that just go copy this code so we are not going to change in this code because we are not playing with the complex example so this is the simplest example so you can understand the basic fundamentals of uh, push notifications so just copy this all code oops and put here before your class and after that just copy the component did mount function and paste in your code this is already done also so fine guys everything is fine 
yes you can burn this token because if you want to see that uh, what is the token for which is used by firebase then you can firebase then you can uh, warn console.warn it because console.log is not uh, working with the react native actually for that you have to uh, use the uh, debugger with the chrome so that's fine this uh, everything is completed here so now i'm going to little bit back which is firebase console so from here we have to download the google services to json and place it in the android app so i'm gone here so you have to create your new project from here you can put your name and your country name okay that's fine so actually i already have a project so i'm going to click on this project so from here i i have to go on settings and after that just download this file which is a google services to json so just download it okay open with it with the folder control exit and open your project go to the android folder click on the app folder and just replace it with your old file uh, whenever you are going to open this file you will not get this file because uh, this is first uh, this is the first time i have placed this file and that time i replaced this file all right so everything is ready for now and please don't forget to create the build just after all these changes so just use the react native run under i hope you know what uh, what is done by this command and if you don't know i'm going to tell you this will create the all your code chain is linked with your react native so because we are uh, change and update our core files so so that if we need to link these file these updated file with your react native code then we must have to create your again build again so that's fine okay so this is ready for now so just start with npm start command and open your project it will take just some moments to ready okay so this is ready and here you can see that this is our token which i told you if you want to see that what fsim is using so i am going to minimize my application and going to click on notifications and now you can click on new messages just enter your application name which is the test messages for youtube tutorial that's fine now you can choose the user segment and now can you can apply on your application which is the combot tapush and now just send the messages and this is a review review of your message delivery time now expired date for 4 weeks the 4 weeks means if your device is offline it will try to push for 4 weeks uh, let's suppose you uh, internet your, uh, your internet will be turn on after 3 weeks then it will show your message after 3 weeks just click here
so yeah don't worry uh, some time android will take some time to do this thing so we can use with the uh, duplicate messages sometime because the server is busy with some time and some time internet issues the push notification is not work at the same time but within just some time it will it will work so just try to send messages once again okay no issue so mm -hmm. we can wait for one or two minutes if something is happen here so we can cross check our file and let's Let's check our JSON file. Yeah, everything is fine according to me. Uh, but sometimes Firebase is glitched. So I'm going to pause this video and if I still some find some issues, I'll tell you. Otherwise, everything is fine. Uh, sometimes just it's happened many times actually. Not sometimes. Google not send the push notification in the trial bin at very real time so hey guys welcome back uh, actually i found the problem what is exactly issue so it is that sometimes we need to uh, restart our data because uh, that is new for that and it is not working perfect time so i just pause my video restart my updater and then check my or uh, push notification that this is working so once again you can see that uh, I'm going to send a new message test message again and just select an app from here and just send the message so you can see that we got an here and let me check for our two messages again mm -hmm. I'm sending the duplicate message of the YouTube video to all messages And we got one more message. So even I make a uh, one more video, just three or four days before. And in this video, I thought I have some issues with my coding or uh, with my steps. But this, the previous video was still fine with every step, and this is also fine. And that's why I will show you the message in the very starting point and after the doing every steps you need to restart your android emulator and after that uh, the push notification will be work currently thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you still have any issue let me know uh, by the comment i will definitely show solve your issues and the f our facebook page link is given in the description you can catch me on my facebook page also so thanks guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our channel if you don't subscribe yet. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.